Ah, what's up, y'all? Um, decided the other day after making a video, I hadn't really made a whole lot of videos lately. Had a lot going on. Um, aunt passed away a couple weeks ago. Um, she stayed with my grandma because my grandma's getting older, has some dementia setting in, and she needs somebody there with her. So, once we found her, um, we, I stayed with my grandma that weekend, and my mom had to clear out a room for her, and then we moved her over there for the time being, and then we have to go through everything in the house, because uh, my aunt was a little bit of a hoarder, not terrible, but enough, you know, where it's caused a lot of work. Um, her room had just the path to the bed and a bunch of random shit piled up. Um, that's where I found that little 22 at. Um, the room next to her was the same way. And my grandpa passed away a few years ago. And when he did, my grandma wouldn't let us go through anything back then. So we got to go through all of my aunt's stuff, all my grandpa's stuff, and my grandma's stuff. We got to figure out what we're keeping, what we're getting rid of. And uh, once we figure, go through everything in the house, we're going to move everything out to the garage and then have some remodeling work done, move everything back in, and then we're moving my mom, my brother, and my grandma from my mom's house over to there. So one good thing is we, we get to keep the house in the family. My grandparents were the first ones that ever lived there uh, shortly after it was built. When they moved into the neighborhood they're in right now, or you know, the neighborhood that their house is in, um, there's hardly any houses there from what I understand. It was one of the, one of the first houses that got put up. And they lived there since early 60s, I think, mid-60s. So we're the only family that's ever owned that house. And I was afraid we were going to lose it at some point. But it's nice to know we get to keep the, fam the house and the family. Um, so it's caused a lot of work. Um, before that, I had been like going to the grocery store for my grandma every week and my aunt. Um, taking garbage out, bringing cans back in, uh, doing cleaning around the house because I started to realize that my aunt hadn't been cleaning because she wasn't taking care of herself so she couldn't hardly move or bend over. And, I mean, she literally was shuffling around like a 90-year-old person and she was only in her 60s. So, um, once I realized that, I started like vacuuming and doing other stuff around the house and then I let my mom know and her and my brother had, that we all started like making time to go meet over there and start cleaning up and trying to get the house back in a reasonable order. And uh, then this happened. So we've been really busy. But anyhow, that being said, um, I got a few other things. I kind of like, you know, talking about the other stuff like the knuckles and the knives and different things. So I got some other random shit here today I want to show y'all. Plus, I'm, I figured I might as well show the uh, Winchester shotgun that I got from my grandpa. I haven't done a video on the little 22 yet. That's coming soon. But uh, I did, f I'll show this in a minute, but I found this little, uh, this old school wooden Winchester box. It used to, I'm pretty sure it came full of shotgun shells. And my grandpa had some random stuff in it, and I finally grabbed it. I've been looking at it for years. Um, but my grandma didn't want us to take anything out of the house, so uh, she's gone. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna take it. And I got it all packed up with some cool shit. Some things my dad gave me recently, too. Um, he's kind of downsizing all the stuff he's got. So that's where my love of guns and knives and weapons and stuff came from. It was my, my dad and my grandpa. But uh, especially my dad, he had, he's had a lot of stuff. He had about 60 guns at one point uh, for a long time. Had all different kinds of shit and different bunch of different knives and all just all kind of cool stuff you know so that's kind of what got me into it because i've been around that stuff since shit has at least 10 years old probably earlier than that because i got my first rifle at 10 years old there's a little it was a little short uh i think it's called a squirrel little single shot 22 uh bolt action 22 rifle so being that i got my first gun at 10 years old at, at christmas um i'm pretty sure we were shooting guns and doing shit before that because I've been shooting since fucking years before I could drive um you know 10, 11, 12 years old I'm shooting my dad's 44 Magnum 357 uh could load operate and fire his uh Colt government 1911 he used to have um so I don't know I've just been around my whole life and I, I I just fell in love with this kind of shit so anyhow uh he's at level 22 again I haven't shown it I've been debating polishing this thing. It's got a brushed stainless finish. 
I wasn't sure because this is a little bit different kind of brush stainless. It just I wasn't sure if I would be able to polish this well or not. So I took one of these grips off and started just. It, you know, it looks the same. It's a big plate under here. So I just slowly started going at it. Next thing you know, I could see like the reflection of the of the the light in it pretty well. So I've seen plenty of these that are, plenty that aren't. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. Um, I know my grandpa wouldn't have polished it, but I tried to find some nice fake pro grips for it. But that this is one gun I cannot find hardly shit for. The only grips they got are crappy plastic ones that just ain't much different than the ones that are on it. So I don't know. I don't know if I like the polished look with the, the black plastic grips, but we'll see. I am still debating. I haven't shot it yet. I watched a video today about some guy shooting one of these things. It was like he barely could get out more than two or three shots without it jamming. But I do know that, you know, cheaper guns are sometimes hit and miss. At least that's been my experience. Um, sometimes you can get one that just works fucking great. And other times you get one that's just junk. So, I don't know. Either way, I mean, I'm not selling it. I'm not planning it. I'm not carrying it. And it's just something to remember my grandpa by because, it's, you know, he had to sell all his guns. At least I got two of them. So, this is just a cool little bonus. But, uh, still debating the polishing part. I mean, I can always polish it, but once I polish it, that's pretty much a wrap. So, alright. Oh, my dad gave me this knife uh, the other day. He's had this since I was a little kid. He has a uh, Rambo knife. This thing's cool as shit. I've always loved this thing. Let's see if I can focus. I always love this thing. Got a magnifying glass here to, you know, as you try, you know, Watching bugs and shit, you can. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, start fires with if you need to. A survival knife. Um, it's got a compass on the butt of it right here. Yeah. Unscrew the cap. It should be for. I think this is the same, the same one from the Rambo movie. At least the original one. Take the cap off. You got a few little items of interest in here. You got a package of waterproof matches and a little strike pad on here start fires and then you got uh, <coughs> if I can get some little bitch out of there you got um, some fishing line and you got these little um, I forget what they call these things you put them on your line to make them make kind of give it some weight or hold it down in the water it's got a couple hooks in here so just a little random survival shit, you know, it's kind of cool, I don't really plan on being stuck in a spot where I would need any of that, but, um, I think one of those things, uh, there's quite a few things I say this about, but I'd rather have it not need it than need it not have it, you know, highly doubt I'll ever use it, hopefully I'll never need it, but should I, and I happen to have this with me, then there you go, it's a mean fucking knife, though, this thing is really, really sharp, and this, man, you get stabbed with this, it's going to hurt bad enough. When you pull that back out, that's just going to just cut somebody's ass up. Plus, I think, believe you can saw with this one, too, if you want it. I don't want to fuck it up, so I ain't planning on doing that, you know, unless I end up in a survival situation with it. You know, I got to cut some firewood or something. But uh, it's a pretty nice knife. It's got this sheath with it. Um, this wasn't on here, this little tie-down. Uh, that box of my grandpa's, he had some strings in there because he used to use it to skin squirrels. And so they had a, a package of a couple brand new ones, so I figured, fuck it, I'll throw it on. And this also has this little sharpening stone in here. But, it's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like, though, is that this strap is not, like, real tight at the top, so you see it comes up like this. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But, uh, one thing I've really been wanting, because I get people hanging out in my, uh, at the end of the block back here, and I can't really tell what's going on, you know, I mean, most people are usually just fucking get high, but, um, we've had our cars broken into before, so I wanted a pair of binoculars so I could see what the fuck's going on when I see something at a distance, you know, what have you, just to have them, you know, not very often I need them, but I like to be able to see what's going on at a distance if I need to, and, uh, I've spotted coyotes with them, which, usually coyotes are actually pretty cool. They don't really fuck with us. In fact, usually, uh, there's been times when I've been outside with Jackie, and they just kind of sit and, like, they actually sit down and it just, I remember one day it was real dark out because the school across the street from me, the lights were off. Um, they go off at midnight and come on at, like, 5 in the morning. So, it was probably 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm taking her out, and, um, I see him out there in this parking lot just kind of wandering around in the dark, 
and I'll start whistling to them, trying to mimic their howl, and start looking around. <laughs> and uh, the couple of them one time just stopped and started watching us because they see Jackie, who looks a lot more like them than I do, but they see her walking around with me, and I think it just blows their mind because they're like, um, that don't make sense, you know? So the one of them actually sat down, like just, you know, sat his butt down, sitting up like this, and he just goes, <laughs> that's fucking great so anyhow my grandpa had these really nice binoculars I don't even know what brand they are it just says JCPenney on it from back in the day when JCPenney actually sold cool shit but uh came with this nice box I took the strap off because the strap kept coming undone off the side it kind of fell out on one side so I just took that off of there and then you know, I got a nice little red interior grandpa's name and shit on there Nice set of binoculars. These things are really fucking good. Um, looking at the moon, you can see a lot of detail. I was looking at Jupiter one night, and I can actually see one of its moons. Um, I also got this bright idea to... I was trying to see Jupiter... Or I'm sorry, not Jupiter. trying to see Venus one morning when the sun was up, and I knew right about where it looked, so I was looking up in the sky trying to find it. Hi, Jackie, baby. She's trying to get my attention. And... Um, I couldn't find it, but anyways, I, I but there, in the past, I have taken, like, a, a couple days when, like, the sun was just coming up, and it was real, you know, real low, and it's real big looking in that deep orange, and I put a welding mask on and just looked at the sun, because I never really get to look at it, so I was like, you know what, I wonder if I put a welding mask on, and then use these binoculars if I'd be able to see the sun, put it on, set it on its lowest, on its, you know, its darkest setting, and I'm moving around and finally it lined up and I could see the sun and I shit you not I could see three sunspots it was fucking awesome it was so cool and it's unlike anything I've ever seen before and that's why I would like to be able to look at the sun like that because you know it's, I watch the moon stars uh, planets but it's kind of hard to watch the sun when it blind you but that was really really cool it was like there's a circle say you're looking at it like I'm looking at it this way right from your point of view if you see this, there was like one here, one here, and like one kind of over here. That was really, really cool shit. But anyhow, these things are amazing, amazing binoculars. Now, let me flip this thing around. This is the old Winchester box. <coughs> so, start off. This came from my uncle. I have some uh, really cool old army stuff that came from my uncle who was in the army back in the 90s and he does a lot of government work um, I don't know he, he does some pretty crazy shit but anyways so this is just an ammo bag it's just an ammo bag and uh shit done drop you <coughs> See here. This is not easy to do. Let me try this. Here we go. Just kind of pull these up. And then we had boxes. It really is nice. Yeah, slugs. Slugs. I got some nice rifle slugs. Red rifle lead slugs in here. Um Two other boxes of shotgun shells, and then I got a box of uh, 38s as well in here. 38s. Another couple little boxes of shotgun shells. Some three inch rounds and some two and three quarter inch rounds. But, uh, you know, that's for if shit should ever go down around me and I happen to grab my shotgun, I'd throw this over my shoulder so I got more rounds than just what's on the. Uh, little nylon thing at the uh, on the butt so that's that part <coughs> I got Jackie's medicine here she's got uh, this is her thyroid medicine but um, we got a new bottle my cat likes to take her medicine bottles and you play with them like toys and I don't want shit turning up missing because there's like three months worth in there. Um, got some 
cool rags and stuff like this was uh just in a plastic bag here that just saved the bag but uh you know it's good for wiping down guns and shit my grandpa's got some of his old rags in here too which i thought was kind of cool um yeah i'm zoomed out as far as i can be holy shit look at that we got a light all right so this i, I bought this a while back this is uh there's no holster for it but it's just a a belt with ammo loops on it very cool i've been trying to break that in wearing it around the house and whatnot this was his old hunting hat i thought that was cool rubber bands i just got those for whatever i happen to need them for just have another bag all right let's see here we got some gun polish these are pretty much just all rounds through here. I got some shotgun shells from my grandpa that he had in here. I got some 30 special rounds. Those are all homemade. I just use the boxes. These are homemade as well. More Winchester shit. This was my grandpa's knife. This was uh, this was in the box. Probably, probably use this for skinning squirrels most likely. Um, his squirrel call. Look at this old ass box, dude. I wish they had the other part of the box so much. This is some old school shit, man. Back when Sears used to sell cool shit. But this little squirrel call. I could, like hit it. I would hit it on my palm. And uh, we don't have any squirrels out here by us for some reason. I do see them very rarely, but uh, you know, like I said, it's not very often. And one day there, I saw two of them up on, on our porch. So I took that and started hitting it inside. And they're looking around, looking around. And then I went to, uh, I kind of just slowly crept to the door. They're watching me. I opened the door and started doing it again. And then when they went down the stairs, I did it a couple more times. And they got to the bottom. They're looking back up at me. And uh, I don't know, I left it at that. Next thing you know, a couple hours later, I look out the door. And <laughs> they're both sitting on the porch again. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Say hi. She's got her shoes and gloves on because uh, her pants are so dried up. See, I was talking the other day about how they're like they're fibers, basically. See how they're they're kind of a type of fiber. Just, hold on, Jake. Give me a baby. With some of them, let me see how these have gotten real thick. Mostly, I think it's just callusing over again. But there's some of them that look real bad. Not on this hand, but I've been putting this stuff and that stuff I showed the other day. And put it on there and I put that on her hands and her feet so she don't get get it all the blanket. I just haven't gotten her other hand yet. Um hi gentlemen. She's trying to get my attention. She's feeling left out. Man, she's got a rash here too. This wasn't even there the other day. She, I think she's picking at it. A little bit. Say hi Jackie. She said hi Jackie. <laughs> um this of course, old school Coca-Cola ice pick, you know, because you never know when fucking ice pick might come in handy. Uh, let's see, I promise I gotta remember how I put all this shit in here. <laughs> this is like a field gun cleaning kit that came from my uncle. I'm not gonna open it up and take it apart, but it's, you know, it's got tools to clean your guns out in the field. Thought that was kind of cool too. This is just a big ass round, it's not real. It may have been at some point, but. Very large bullet. I think it was real at some point. Some kind of paperwork in there. Got my. I love these old metal cans. Now they got fucking plastic cans, which sucks, but I still got my grandpa's metal can. Still got some in it. Then I got all these 22 rounds. All these 22 rounds came from their house. I got these little Remington high velocity rounds. I got, I actually have some 22 shorts in here. See the shorts? I, uh, never seen a shot, a 22 short before. So, when I go out back sometimes when I shoot, um, if I shoot a 22, I have to, like, up whatever hand I'm holding, say I'm holding the gun with my right hand, I'll use my left hand to plug my, my right ear, turn my head away to the left a little bit, so that way it doesn't make my ears ring. Them 22 shorts, they don't even make your ears ring. They're really fucking quiet. I mean, they're not quiet. They still make noise, but they're just so much less loud than a 22 long rifle. This is one of those little silicone things I throw in here just to try to keep moisture to a minimum. 
That's some other random shit. Some shells, some more 22 rounds that I found. Um, let's see, this is my box of 20. These, these 22 shells were mine already to begin with. This, I don't know, my aunt had that. This was mine to begin with. Look at this fucking box of. I mean, there's probably at least a few few hundred rounds in here. Is that a fucking. There's a short right there. Son of a bitch. I don't know. I don't think I put that one in there. There's one little short right there. Interesting. But yeah, I've had this for fucking ever because I don't really shoot a lot and I don't shoot the 22s very much. Another one of my grandpa's little cleaning rags here. Found this in his garage too. It's just a, you know, I'm sure a lot of y'all seen that. A utility knife, folding utility knife. This thing's kind of fucked up on it though. I wish I could get that to bent back, but I might just take it off all together. But that's that. Got some more 22 rounds. But yeah, all these 22 rounds in the. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm sorry. I did refill some of these because some of these were not completely full, so I took some out of here and put them in there. So maybe I did drop that 22 short in an accident. I don't even know if these are the original. Yeah, maybe they are. These I put in here. The brass ones I put in myself. These uh, silver color ones I did not. Um, it's just a cloth. Another old school Sears thing. Nice cloth to wipe your guns down with. And then we got the K-Bar. Oh, we got some other various shit down the bottom here, too. I don't really know what, what all this stuff is. Um, here's another one of the leases. I don't really know what this shit is, so I just kept it in here for now. Cleaning rods for your guns, maybe. I don't know. More laces. And then there's this old knife. This thing's kind of cool. It's different. I've never really seen a knife quite like it. Should I open it real quick? It's like a long... Not really sure what that's for, you know. That might have been a squirrel skin and knife, I don't know. Probably not, but... Yeah. Different, right? Alright. Oh, for the K-Bar. Now this knife, my dad gave me this and then... A week and a half later, we went to the gun show, and 